much, Susie. Hello, friends. As there is always a need of help in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels, I am here for the same. Today, in this video, I am going to solve chapter compound interest, exercise 10.3 of class 8. So, if you guys want to see the solution of earlier chapters of same publication of class 8 maths book, you can go by the playlist where all the solution videos are available. Moreover, I have uh, solved many chapters of class 7 maths book. So you can uh, watch the solution for the same by visiting the playlist. And one more thing, I will uh, give the links of playlist in the description box of this video. So do check it out. And uh, please subscribe to the, uh, to the channel as it takes hardly one second to subscribe the channel and share the videos and uh, like the videos. So let's not to waste further time. Check it out how to solve question number 9 of compound interest exercise 10.3 class 8. So question number 9 says the difference between, com between compound interest and the simple interest on a certain sum of money for 2 years at 5% per annum is rupees 25. Find the sum. So how we will start? We will start with assuming the sum. Assuming the principle. Let the sum be P. So simple interest we know that P R T by 100 so it will like P5 is given to us. Time is given to us. Cancel it. So simple interest will be coming out to be as P by 10. So, simple interest is P by 10. Let's move further. Now, for finding compound interest, we have to put the formula P 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power n, put the values, amount is equal to p, which needs to be find out, 1 plus rate, 5% and time is given as 2 years. So, amount would be p, it would be like 105 by 100 raised to the power 2. So, compound interest will be amount minus principal. So, compound interest 11025 by 234p minus p. You can cancel it, no problem. But I have not cancelled it. I will calculate the sum. So, LCM would be 1, 2, 3, 4. 11025 minus 1234 10,000. So compound interest would be 1025 by 10,000 P. So here in the question we have been given we have been given that compound interest minus simple interest equal to 25. So compound interest is 1025 by 10,000 P minus simple interest we have calculated earlier P by 10 equal to 25. Take the LCM 1, 2, 3, 4, 1025 P minus 1000 P equal to 25. I am doing further calculations here. So it would be like 25 P by 10,000 equal to 25. So P would be like 25 into 10,000 by 25. So principal will be coming out to be as rupees 10,000. So we would write therefore sum is equal to rupees 10,000. Hope the question is clear. If any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask your doubt by commenting into the comment box.
let's move further question number 10 so question number 10 says the simple interest on a certain sum of money for three years at six whole number two by three percent per annum is rupees 13,500 what will be the compound interest on the same sum at the same rate for the same time period compounded annually so let's see one more thing the chapters which i have solved for class 8 is rational numbers exponent square and square roots cube and cube roots playing with numbers linear equations algebraic expression factorization of algebraic expressions percentage and its applications compound interest direct and inverse variation quadrilateral surface area and volume probability and for class 7 i have solved integers fractions decimals rational numbers linear equations lines and angles and triangles and its properties so do check the playlist by visiting the playlist or you can check the playlist of solution in the description box of this video so let's move further question number 10 let the principal b p which is not given to us rate of interest is given to us six whole number two by three percent per annum change it it will become six three the 18 19 20 by three percent per annum time is given as three years so simple interest we all know p into r into t by 100 so p into 20 this 100 solve it so simple interest would become p by 5 consider it simple interest would will become what p by 5 now let's move further So, next, simple interest is given to us, which is 13,500, which is equal to P by 5. So, principal would become So, principal would become 13,500 into 5. So, principal would be like 5, 5, 5, 25. Rupees 67,500. Now we will write principal is rupees 67,500. Rate of interest is 20 by 3% per annum and time is equal to 3 years. Now find the compound interest. We have to put the formula. 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power n. So, amount will become 67,500. 1 plus 20. So, 1 plus 3 into percent time 3 years. So, amount would be equal to what? Cancel it. So, 67,500, 1 plus 1 by 15 raised to the power 3. So, amount is equal to 67,500. Take the LCM, 15, 15 plus 1 raised to the power 3. So, amount would become 67,500. 16 by 15 raised to the power 3. So, we would write 67,500 into 16 by 15 into 16 by 15. 
calculation is bit lengthy, but we have to do it. So cancel it. 5 3 is a 15. 5 1 is a 5. 5 3 is a 15. 5 5 is a 25. 0 is a 0. So again, 5 3 is a 15. 5 2 is a 10. 5 7 is a 35. 0 is a 0. So again, 5 3 is a 15. 5 5 is a 25. 5 4 is a 20. 0 is a 3 1 is a 3 1 is a 3 8 is a 24. 0 is a 3 1 is a 3 6 is a 18. 0 is a 3 1 is a 3 2 is a 6. 0 is a so amount will become 16 into 16 into 16 into 20. So 16 into 16 would become what? 96 and 16. 6, 256, 16 again. So it become 1536 and 256. So it would become what? After adding up. 4096 multiply by 20 so it it would become 2612 2018 19 24 is a 8 81920 so amount will become rupees 81900 20. Let's move further. So compound interest is equal to amount minus principal. So compound interest is equal to rupees 81,920 minus 67,500. So it would become rupees 81,920 minus 67,500. 0 to 4 Four, one rupees fourteen thousand four hundred and twenty. So we would write therefore compound interest is equal to rupees fourteen thousand four hundred and twenty. So it was all about today's video. In my upcoming videos, I'll be solving more of the question of compound interest. So if you guys like my videos, if it is somewhere helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible. Yes, if any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask your doubts by commenting into the comment box. Thank you so much.